Hello everyone, I'm Gina James Cole and welcome to another episode of our statue house builds. I think last episode we built the cow, you can see at the bottom over there in the background. It's going to have a little boing on these slime blocks, I can't resist. Um, but this episode is... Doo -doo! The snow golem, how cool is he? I love him. Um, now, and snow golem, I know like normally has his arms coming down, but it was just... I, so, sort of put his arms coming down it just looks silly so i've just put them coming out i hope that's okay um he's obviously made out of uh snow and then different colored like he's got coal and then brown uh wool for his like his little buttons on him let me just come further back because he's actually really quite big so and he's also his, his head is made i made his head out of pumpkins and then i thought well that's silly i might as well have it was it was because it's so big it was really quite dark inside and i didn't know how to kind of light it up i don't actually know i didn't i don't think i tried torches but i just kind of figured that it would melt the snow i don't know if that's true actually it probably isn't now come to think of it but anyway i've used uh, jack-o-lanterns up there for his uh, for his face which is pretty cool and then inside uh, there's a layer of just oak wood uh, to go behind it so it's pretty cool I think the bottom is I think it's just like a 16 block 16 block square and then obviously like a square one in no is it a 14 I can't remember to be honest you'd have to, <laughs> you'd have to count look I'll pause it here count let's count the blocks actually it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 yes it's a 14 block 14 square by 14, 12 by 12, and I think that's a 16 by 16 block up there of pumpkin, so it's quite easy to make. Let's head on inside. Oh, this was suggested actually by uh, Steve Green on our last cow video. He commented and said a snow golem would be a cool idea, which absolutely I agreed with because it wasn't even something that I put down to do on, on my list of sort of, of things. But anyway, let's head on inside. Shut the door so nothing comes in. This is the kind of the grand entrance. Like I said before, the snow golem is a huge, like, big structure. So it was quite cool to have all the space inside to build. I've obviously kind of used snow inside and I've used a uh, redstone torch, not torches, uh, redstone lamps around the bottom underneath. I thought it looked pretty cool and I've kind of left the, the outside glass going up as well just to keep the light uh, going up through the house. Uh, I've got some packed ice and some bits and pieces and some white flowers and just because it all kind of fitted in with a whole snowy kind of theme you go up to the first floor which is as you can see the kitchen um you have to be careful here because you might fall down uh i quite like this kitchen well, to be honest there was nothing the snow golem is kind of it's just a snow golem there's not really that much about him that i could put into a house to make it all sort of about him other than the fact of like cold and snow and stuff like that so the kitchen is made out of coal because obviously like they have coal on snowmen for their uh noses and stuff is it their noses you use coal for i can't remember uh yeah and what else did I put anything in the chest? Oh, yes, there's wheat in the chest because apparently I didn't know this, but in Minecraft first came out, you snow golems would attack players holding wheat. I don't know whether that means that if the player was holding wheat, the snow golem would attack you, or if the snow golems would attack you, like those them holding wheat. I don't know, but anyway, so there's some wheat in there in the kitchen for them to eat. Um, just you know, a, a nice little kitchen there, recipe books and whatever. Up here for decoration is kind of snow golems it's like what to make a snow golem you do two snow blocks and then a pumpkin or a jack-o-lantern on top and so that's kind of what all that is up there there's like a big um what are these called chandeliers yeah a big chandelier thing that hangs down which is lovely this is the fridge we open up the fridge and what's oh we shut again mind you we can just do it what's inside the fridge but of course snowballs because a snow golem will drop snowballs over here is the table the dining room table the bit of ice uh, melted there from from the uh, glowstone so i think probably the torches would have melted it but if we head on up here to the next floor i put jack-o-lanterns around each side and as you can see check this out i've actually got fire in here i would made up that there is but i put it obviously in the middle because if i put it near the edge it would uh, all kind of melt and burn down and whatever and look we've got a little friendly snow golem over here he's hiding behind the sofa hello 
Lưu Cầu Lam Hello Henry Hello Henry, you okay? He's just uh, chilling out back here And there's a massive big You can't actually see the telly Because of the fire, but never mind <laughs> This is a big telly um, with speakers Boom, 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 boom. I've never used note blocks. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Um, yeah, and then I like the DVDs and stuff down there. That's pretty cool. I quite like this little lounge area in here. There is oh, in here is this is supposed to be knitting needles and wool and to make. Cause look inside, he's got the uh, the snow golem, the snowman. He's got like a big scarf around his neck. I thought that was pretty cool. I quite like that. And so that's what's inside there. This you sit. By the fire, watching telly, doing your knitting, knitting scarves for the snowmen. I don't know, that was just what I did, that was just my idea. Right, carry on up to, I think this is the last floor, their bedroom. Yep, also, actually, this is it was going to be like one one floor, but then I thought the ceiling was too high. And so what I've actually done is up here, it's like the master suite type thing, master bedroom. You're up here with your bed is up here. Obviously, it's kind of got snow and stuff around it. I've also, I started to using quartz in the middle just for, because of the fire and stuff. I thought I couldn't really have snow throughout the whole house inside. So this is like the balcony type thing where your bed, where your bed, bedroom, where your bed is. And then down here, you've got a, how can I get through? I think I have to go through here. There's a golem. Uh, can I fly? I'll break this actually just so I can show you instead of having to go through there but down here there's a door through here as you can see uh into the kind of the master ensuite uh what's it called um bathroom yes with a little toilet and a flusher there uh, a mirror here uh sinks hot and cold taps and then a lovely little shower 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 get all nice and clean right there we go so that's the bathroom and the last little thing that i've got is we have two little snowmen here I keep calling them the snowmen you know iron, iron golems snow golems they've got all their snowballs here and they're having but they're having a snow fight they have to like jump up and uh, throw snowballs at each other but they don't they're not throwing hello oh hello he's just looking out i wish i could get out i'm trapped Let's throw a snowball at the other one. Let's see if we can. See, oh. oh, like that. That's what they do. Oh, <laughs> cool. Anyway, that kind of completes the tour of the snow golem. Let's head on outside and just see if we can get a fly around in the daytime because it was nighttime before. It's a bit dark in this corner, actually, but. Never mind, is it daytime? Oh, it's just about becoming daytime. We'll have a little fly around in the day. He's awesome. I do like him. Look, one of the snow golems uh, fell out. I don't know. I don't know what happened actually. Oh no, it was when I was doing the uh, the head up here because obviously because this is made of snow, and then I put a pumpkin on top, and it made a snow golem. So I had to kind of put a layer of cobblestone and stuff to to be able to put the head on, and so he, he fell out. There. But anyway, <laughs> he's cool. I love him. Actually, I really do love him. Um, yeah, but anyway, that completes the tour of our little, well, not so little, snow golem statue house. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, a big thumbs up would be much appreciated. And if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in our next statue build. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Queen Jemsicle. Goodbye.